Organic compounds make up all living things. Organic in science doesn't mean that it's made by hippies or grown without pesticides. Organic just means that it contains carbon. Carbon is the backbone for lipids, carbohydrates, nucleic acids, and proteins. Any molecule with carbon, with the exception of carbon dioxide, is organic. Carbon dioxide is not considered to be an organic molecule because it has no hydrogen or other carbon atoms bonded to it. Carbohydrates can be broken into three basic categories, monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides. Monosaccharides are the base unit, the building block, or monomer, of carbohydrates. Monosaccharides include glucose, fructose, and galactose. These are the simplest of the sugars. You can combine two of any of these to make a disaccharide. Disaccharides include sucrose, maltose, and lactose. Some people don't produce enough of the enzyme lactase and have difficulty digesting the disaccharide lactose. They are lactose intolerant and need to avoid many dairy products. If three or more monosaccharides are combined, we get a polysaccharide. The polysaccharides include starch, cellulose, glycogen, and chitin. Starch can be found in foods like potatoes and corn. Cellulose is the main component of cell walls of plants, and humans can't digest it. Because of this, we also call cellulose fiber or roughage because it passes right through our digestive system. Glycogen is the polysaccharide that's stored in the liver and muscles for energy, and chitin is the polysaccharide that makes up the exoskeletons of animals like crabs and insects. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.